All right, today was a productive day. I got this uh, new inverter, new to me at least, uh, wired up to the motor two, and then there's a motor one in the back there. Um, it's all hooked up to the, the controller. I tidied up the wires so they're not super duper long. Um, we've got oil pump wiring here and then a shift position sensors right there. Uh, that is connected to the JAG shifter. I got a spare just to mock up and set up on the bench here. And then it comes down and shifts the original shift lever. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. It's in drive right now. If I push this forward, if I can push it forward, that's in neutral, that's drive just to demonstrate shifting. So that will be shifted in the car just like that. Um, we've got the motor, the VCU as it's called, the motor controller and the motors uh, bolted up with some 8020, a uh, little oil pump controller there, a um, bunch of solid grounding. Um, we have a lockout plate that locks the input shaft to this guy here. What you're seeing is the AC converter or AC uh, compressor, um, just kind of sitting where it'll sit in the car. Haven't done any work to that yet. Uh, we're connected to 12 in series Nissan Leaf cells. So running about 95-ish volts right now. We got a little current meter on there. So I'm gonna fire this thing up. Get my 12 volt supply here. Motor files up, fires up. That's the oil pump starting up. Nice and smooth. Uh, let's get this onto the right Wi-Fi network so that it'll take live information. Cool. Let's see. I've got this little throttle pot simulating a throttle pedal. I'm going to twist it, and you're going to watch the output shaft there. That should start spinning. Pretty good. So let's see, you come over here on the screen. The motors are spinning at 1600 and 2800 RPM. We've got 92 volts on the pack. Uh, there's no current sensor attached, so you won't see any current. But the... Uh, Two motors are each 22 degrees C. Uh, they run up to 120, you can push up to 150 if you want. Uh, and then I've got a little oil pump PWM signal, so let that go down up. Pretty good. That was today's work.